So good morning students. Today we are going to see about the unit 7 parts of computers. This is standard time 2. Let us go into the lesson. Uh, today we are going to see about what is the input unit, what is CPU, that is central processing unit and what is output unit. And to understand what is memory units, what are the different uh, input devices and output devices, how, how they are connected. This is a part of uh, computer input uh, unit. Uh, central processing unit that is called CPU and the output unit. So from input unit the data will enter into the CPU that is central processing unit then it will come out as uh, output uh, unit okay through output unit. So what is input unit? The input unit helps to send data and comments for the processing. Or process not occur, the data we know, comment in a chain, you learn The devices that are used to, in, uh, to input data are called input devices. Are they input pan rather? Input devices. In a lab in Batina, a keyboard, mouse, scanner, barcode reader. Barcode reader you can see in the uh, supermarkets. We'll call it microphone mic, web camera, light pen, or some of the examples of uh, the input devices. So what is keyboard? Keyboard and mouse are the important uh, input units. Keyboard plays an important role in output as an input device. So numbers and alphabets plays a role of data in computers. Keyboard helps to enter this type of data. Keyboards uh, has two types of keys, namely number key and alphabet key. The key with numbers are called number keys and the key with letters are called alphabet keys. Mouse. Mouse is an essential part of the computer. Uh, mouse has two buttons, a scroll ball in the middle. The mouse is used to move the pointer on the computer screen. Right button is used to select files and to open folders. Left button is used to carry out corrections in the file. The page on the monitor can be moved up and down using the scroll ball. So this is the keyboard. There is uh, buttons in the uh, key, that is key button and there are numbers in the top. They are called uh, number buttons. Okay, similarly. This is the mouse, there is a central scroll button and there is a right but right click button and the left click button. Then we can scroll using this uh, mouse, okay. Central processing unit, CPU is the brain of a computer. It is called the brain of the computer. The data is processed in CPU, the CPU namely three parts. First one memory unit, arithmetic logic unit and control unit. So control unit, control units control the functions of all parts of the computer. Just is like a heart of the human, okay. Arithmetic logic unit uh, performs all arithmetic computers like addition, subtraction, the Kotal, Perkel, Vagtal, the Latin me pantra de the control unit in the overall control panel. Just like our brain on the control panel, okay. So memory unit. Memory unit in the computer saves all data and information temporarily. We can classify memory unit into two types, namely primary and secondary. So memory can be expanded externally with the help of combat disk, that is CD, pen drive, etc. Nowadays there are so many uh, devices. Yeah. So the memory is the primary and secondary. So example on the pen drive, we use pen drive, CD, DVD, that's all. Okay. So out now we are going to see about what is output to the unit. The output unit converts command received by the computer in the form of binary signal into easily understandable characters. Monitor, printer, speaker, scanner are some of the output devices. Of the various uh, output uh, devices, monitor is the most uh, important output device because it is linked to the computer. Monitor screen uh, looks like a TV screen. The input data in the form of alphabets, numbers, pictures or cartoons and videos it will be display on the monitor so there are two types of monitor namely cathode ray tube monitor and thin film transmitter monitor let us see that uh, what are they so this is the example for cathode ray tube monitor so it is look like a big uh, size uh, inside it there is a cathode ray the cathode ray tube monitor chalanga tv this is a thin film transmitter monitor or TFT or nowadays there are so many LCD. Like LCD TV la on the chare my LCD monitors work there. So these are some examples. And next we are going to see what is the memory units. 
the data is measured in unit which is called bit a bit has single binary value either zeros or ones so one byte abdina 8 bits either the one kilobytes abdina 100 and uh, 1024 bytes so 1024 bytes and the one megabyte is low uh, one uh, 1024 megabyte on the one kilobyte similarly it goes on one terabyte one petabyte one uh, subfight one zeta fight one Data of it, it be okay. So, a classification of computers. Computer can be classified uh, based on the design, space, speed, efficiency, working memory. So, this is what they classified as four. Okay, first one mainframe computers, another one for the mini computers. Mini computers, normal computer, mainframe grade, because memory is just speed is just here. Okay, uh, there are so many processors inside. Another one is micro or personal computers that what we normally used. Another one is supercomputer. Supercomputer nowadays it is very famous. It, uh, even the IBM they are using this particular supercomputers. Then personal computer and its types. So personal computer there are three types only desktop, laptop and and this is called desktop, which is uh, used on the desktop. And the table mala used for me, and the mari pakatla CPU ka tani cabinet mari vachi, and the mari pandado on the desktop. And then another laptop. Laptop, most of the people nowadays they are using laptop. This, this is a laptop. There is no extra uh, devices for uh, memory. Memory ka hola na CPU ka taniya device kareya, okay. So this is laptop. Another one is tablet. So tablet is uh, somewhat bigger than a cell phone, our cell phone, okay? With some memory and uh, some uh, speed is. Uh, speed code arko, size and big size arko, okay? So connecting the computers, uh, there are so many uh, thing uh, to connect a computer. Various part of computers are linked to through connection cables. Uh, connection cables so connect one row. So we see some of the examples, types of cables. Video graphics are a high definition multimedia interface, HDMI, universal serial bus, data cable, power card, mic, Ethernet table. So one by one we can see VGA cable, it is used to connect the computer monitor with the CPU. CPU ko computer monitor ko available. So, this is the desktop and the monitor and uh, CPU and so on, that is cable, okay, VGA cable, okay, video graphics cable, then USB cable or card. So, pen drive, scanner, mouse, web camera, mouse, phone device are connected with the computer using USB or card. So, this is HDMI cable. HDMI cable uh, transmit high quality and high bandwidth stream of audio and video. It connects monitor projector with the computer. So computer projector, even nowadays LCD uh, TV salam bathing na uh, HDMI cable, full HD video la bagna na in the cable I use pandra. Okay. Then data cable, you know uh, data cable ni mobile phone la data cannot pandra. We are using this data cable only. Okay. And audio jack. The audio jack is used to connect speaker. Okay. Only mobile audio jack power card power card na vera onnala power cable as per the power card okay mic cable to connect the mic to cpu uh, this is one type of mic and this is ethernet uh, cable uh, helps to establish ethernet connection well, net connection ku inda ethernet so there are nearly uh, seven cables are there color cables are so this is a ethernet card and wireless connection, Bluetooth wire, Wi-Fi are used to connect to the internet without using any connection cable. So Bluetooth one of the mouse keyboard would have Bluetooth like connect one here. Okay. Another one is Wi-Fi. Net connectivity can be obtained using the Wi-Fi without any connecting cables. Any data from anywhere can be shared using this Wi-Fi. So these are the thing. So thanks for your watching. Please like my channel and subscribe my uh, YouTube channel, okay? Thank you. Best of luck.